guys, it's Way here with kind of, I, I guess, a review. Um, I actually got this set in, um, not even in, I bought it yesterday. What the heck am I talking about? Um, seven, set number 11717. Wow, that was a tongue twister. Um, it's one of the Lego classic themes. Um, this is the Bricks, Bricks, and Plates one. Um, brings 1,500 pieces, well, 15 and 400 pieces. Um, uh, it also brings uh, four different bait, uh, plates. Um, I want to do a quick uh, video on this. It's not, obviously, I don't want to go into detail about Lego classics. That's, uh, ignore the stuff in the background. I just got really excited because I was up until, I believe, 3, 4 in the morning. And this wasn't really any idea that I got from the, the book because I haven't, I haven't even opened the book like at all so like um i just got the idea to build all these um uh, based on their colors um so yeah yeah i just got these ideas like i started off with this one um it was gonna be so uh, i really don't have any names for them which they kind of do detach that way it's a lot easier um But that's the view on that. And I kind of built a little bit of a, f a few features with these. Like this kind of goes, comes out. And then this kind of comes out. This is on a one by one stud. And then he comes out. Um, and then you also got the uh, front kind of detailing here with a few plates. Um, also, try, try putting enough. Uh, uh, detailing into these as much as possible with the pieces that I got. Um, I tried not going too much into it. Um, but yeah, um, I actually kind of like it. Uh, he's supposed to be the guardian of the worlds or the realms, as you can call it. Uh, let me move that back. Sorry, get that. And then get that. Okay, and then you got the blue realm or or Aquas, you can call it. I'm still thinking of the names. Don't judge me. Um, yeah, I tried using all the blue pieces that possible that came with the bag. Um, I tried going for like a, kind of like a kingdom, kind of underwater, almost like an Atlantis kind of looking thing. Um, uh, kind of have like a throne here. Um, a little bit of detailing on the sides. Uh, a few uh, plates on top, like those uh, um, flat plates. Um, I try adding a little bit more detail inside, adding like these, uh, I think it's the two by, uh, two by four, uh, plates with, uh, um, a few other little tiny details onto there. Um, you also got, I like the, um, actual blues that they added, included into the set. It's not just one plain blue. You actually got quite a few different shades of blue. Um, and I'm actually kind of glad it kind of goes with the plate that it brought. Um, <laughs> Uh, I first started building this one, and then it led on to this one, and I thought I was gonna be, sorry, sorry, I built this one and led on to this one, and then it led on to this one, and then that one, and then my favorite one of all, I'll show you in a second, but I'm gonna show you the garden right here. Um, I was, I knew, like, I wanted to build, like, kind of like a garden kind of, like, thing here, I just didn't have an exact idea of what I was gonna do, but... I'm glad it came out the way it did. You got the tree in the middle with it looks kind of messy. I know it's not supposed to be perfect, um, but I like the way it came out. I like the different details that are in there. I like the different um, like shades of green and different kinds of colors that came with it. Um, and I actually try adding a little bit of detail outside. That way it just didn't look completely flat. That's why I kind of did like this kind of stuff around here. Um, and then you got the, I don't know if I can twist it around. See, I tried adding a little bit of detail on the sides. Because I didn't, I really have a clear idea of what I was going to do at the time. But it, it just, I, as you, what you see here, Sorry, as you what you see here is what I built as I went with the set. And I still have uh, the shades of yellow, I still have the purple, and I also still have like the red and orange. So I might build something else, um, probably. 
I'm going to use these for my Lego mocks. I still have another two Lego classic sets that I still haven't opened, which bring quite a few brick pieces. So that way I can actually build my mocks a little bit better than what I've done before. Um, and then you also got the Snow Realm. Um, I actually kind of like this little uh, portal uh entrance here that i did uh, i just put a whole bunch of one by two plates together and then i actually put them at an angle to the point where i can actually put them on the actual plate so it looks nice um and then you actually got like a few little eyes right here a little detailing with the uh i guess you could uh call it the antenna or uh shift because they use these for the cars um a little bit of one by uh those studs clear pieces same thing with these one by ones down there in the bottom uh, I also tried adding a little bit more detail, especially with those slow pieces, and also uh, use, uh, um, using pieces like uh, these. I know I brought the windows, but I didn't want to add those. I wanted to look almost like it's been um, built for years. I didn't want to add too much detailing to make it look smooth and clean and brand new. Um, and also add a little bit of detailing right here on the sides. Also got like these kind of like these furnace pieces right there. And also added this antenna right here uh, on a one by one uh, piece right here. Um, yeah, that was that doesn't really uh, have anything uh, uh, special. It's just a detailing that I wanted to add real quick. And also uh, and um, added these right here from the rims of the tires. And it's gonna be the exact same thing on the other side. So yeah. Um, so those were the worlds right there. And I have to say the one that took me the most time and the one that took most creativity has to be my candy kingdom right here. So it goes all the way from the top. Ignore the background, like I said. And then it goes, oh, sorry. There you go, focusing. And it goes all the way down to the bottom. I tried adding as much detail as possible, not only on one side, but on each side of this building. Um, I really tried my very, very best um, to um, add much detailing as I could from the two bags that I opened. Um, I actually didn't just use uh, the pink and the light pink uh, brick sets. As you can tell, I used brown, I used gold, I used uh, kind of like a... Um, very very kind of darkish kind of um gold to it too but that's the entrance right there and then there's gonna be like a torches right here here's gonna be the entrance and uh, uh two little side panels are supposed to be um flags um on each side you got the grill pieces on a two by two um, and you also got a little bit of detailing. It's going to be the exact same side on the other side with a one by uh, two by three. And then I got another two by three right here with a one by four plate on it. Um, I also use a two by two uh, uh, flat plate pieces right here. It's going to be the exact same thing on the other side and another one by uh, four. Um, and these are supposed to be flags right here with the grill piece and another plate. Um, I'm going to get you on that. And then also used uh, uh, quite a few of these pieces too, including, and then you got a little light pink and uh, uh, detailing in there. And then a two by two uh, round plate. And then the same thing on the other side for that. And then I'm going to show you the upper level. And then you got another kind of like pole, I guess you can call it. Um, I actually in, in wanted to try and give some different texture to it. And um, different angles. So I use like the smooth plate right here, these angled ones. And then um, I also, uh, th it's pretty sturdy. Um, it's not hollow inside, it's all bricked up. Um, and then I also use this piece, uh, piece and this, uh, I guess what you can call it, uh, a T piece. Forgive me, it's been so long since I've actually built Lego. Um, as you can tell, I haven't posted anything, but it is a pretty cool uh little thing here that i got it's i really really enjoy it as you can tell from all the detailing that i have here um you definitely i'm glad if you stuck through this whole video to see this definitely drop a like and uh comment down below and subscribe for more content like this because i definitely from me doing this 
and this gave me really good ideas of what I could do for my next stop motions, next mocks. Um, so yeah, definitely, if you haven't joined, definitely join the family. So I guess I will see you on the next video. So yeah, this is Sway, logging off. See ya.